Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structures. So happy Sunday to all of you. So we are going to do a special video on Tecla Structures today in which we are going to show you how to create a small building model with strip footings. So without wasting any of your time, let's get started. So first of all, we want to create our grid lines as per our preference. So we are going to create a 4 into 4 meter room. So we'll just do this grid lines as 4000 that is 4000 mm equals to 4 meters y coordinates also will do as 4000 so the z coordinates we want like the foundation level let's take as 0 so the next co uh, coordinate which we want is your 1200 that is the foundation depth we are taking as 1200 so the next level which we are going to take is your 3000 that is 1200 plus 3000 if you add them then we'll come up with 4200 so we'll just mention here 4200 and we don't need the next level so we are going to just put the ground floor here so since there are only one coordinate so two coordinates so labels also will make us two labels you can give as per your choice so this will be like 0 plus 0 plus 1200 and then uh, we'll do this as plus 4200 and we don't need this we are only creating our ground floor along with its slab so levels are ready coordinates are ready we'll just click on modify so after clicking on modify we can just click on any of the grid lines and right click on it and then create view along grid lines so just click on create this creates our required views so after that we'll just close this we'll go to the foundation level and then click on ok and then we'll tile this vertically so now we can insert our footings so first let us insert our pad footings so pad footings properties we can define since it is a 4x4 room let's give it a small size like 800 mm into 800 mm the grade of concrete you can choose as M20 so like we I have selected the Indian standards or the Indian environment if you are designing from a separate environment you can do that also so we'll show you in the upcoming videos how to select a separate environment other than Indian so it's very easy so after you define the grade of your concrete as per your standard environment or country code and after that you can define your depth so let's define the depth as your let's say 300 mm and after that we can simply assign our particular as you can see that we can assign our particular footings you can rotate this model by clicking on control and then clicking on the middle of the mouse cursor so if you just use the middle of the mouse cursor and and the control button you can rotate the model like this so if you want to go back to like a 3d view at any point of time just click on escape and then left click anywhere this window appears and after that in the view angle option you can just click on here and go to the top view so we're back with the top view here you can now close this so now we can insert the remaining footings just click on footings and the properties will be the same so we'll just insert the footings here so after the footings have been inserted we'll next go for your strip footing so the strip footing properties also you can define let's give it m20 apply ok and let's change the size to let's say we'll change the size here only let's say we'll give it a size of 300 into 300 and it's done so after that we can define let's say from here to here here to here here to here here to here so this is done as you can see the strip footings have been done 
the next thing we want is to assign our columns so we're going to assign our columns separately like for up to the plinth level we're going to assign our columns first and then we'll go to the next level so what this will help us you know in assigning our ties so if, since we want separate spacing for our ties in in our uh, middle and start and end so this will really help in it so we'll assign our columns like that first we'll select a column and uh, we will just give it a size of 250 into 250 and after that we'll just uh, change the material to M20 concrete okay and after that we'll just change the position because the top position which we want is our 1200 we want it up to the plinth level here first so so we can assign our columns here we can assign in this view we can assign in this view as well so let's assign our columns so you can expand this view or you can don't expand this but it's up to you I choose to not to expand because I don't want to see it here and if you want not to show this message again now now since we have done this as you can see the columns are ready and if you just escape and click on this you can see the height of 1200 which is our up to our plinth level so we have assigned our columns up to plinth level now next we want to put our beams so for putting our beams we can just select the option of beam here and then we can select our size of the beams here let's say a 250 into 250 size we can give we can just change the properties to M20 click on apply click on OK and then we can just assign our beams so if we if we just choose from here the midpoint as you can see in the 3d view the bottom one is selected so it's better if we just uh, finish it in the 3d view or you can even rotate this and finish the task so we'll go to concrete again select the beams again and we can select this midpoint to this midpoint make sure to zoom in and do that we'll click on escape and click on this particular beams again zoom and just observe which is the midpoint we can rotate this and click on this and here now click on this midpoint single click here single click on this midpoint and then place it single click on this midpoint click on escape so as you can see it is done up to the plinth level so we have created this model up to the plinth level in which we have known various commands of tecla structures now in the upcoming videos we'll discuss more stay tuned to our channel and if you want professional training from us on tecla structural designer tecla structures rabbit structures stat pro or any software even estimation like estimation using ms excel you can contact us we have launched for you a complete recorded course on g plus 3 building design using tecla structural designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description